parallel, not perpendicular. <laughs> yes. Uh, is a new 2024 sci-fi horror, which I have been saying uh, recently that it's my favorite subgenre. Like, mm. I just love this. Anyways, uh, not to get off on a tangent. <laughs> Stay focused for once. Yeah. Um, this is about a woman and her husband and her husband's brother. They go up to her husband's dad's, like, I w it's definitely not a cabin. This thing is like, no, it's this big. is nice. This, this is big. A fancy cabin. Yeah, this is a fancy cabin. Yeah. Uh, in the woods. And uh, they're dealing with, with a tragedy, the loss of their son. And this has created a rift between them. And she goes out hiking to clear her mind. And while she's out hiking, she gets lost in parallel universes. Yeah. Um, this, you know, this film definitely reminded me a decent amount of coherence. Mm. Um, this is based uh, on another film. So this is a remake of oh, okay. a, I think it's, I think it's Chinese. Oh, I didn't know that. It's either Chinese mm. or, eh, I think it's Chinese. Mm. It's Asian. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's Chinese. Um, but it is, yeah, it's based on another film. So, so they're doing this. Um, the, I know every actor in this and there's only three. We, don't, we never see an, another actor in the whole film, um, which I, I like the like minimalistic cast. Mm -hmm. um, and I always am a fan of taking your limitations of your budget and getting creative and clever with your concepts, even though they borrowed this from someone else. It doesn't <laughs> matter. Um, yeah. But making making your budget seem bigger than it is and and your and your plot grander yeah um yeah. just with some some clever <clears throat> editing and uh and story elements and whatnot so um overall i mean i liked the movie i i had some gripes with it for sure mm. i don't think it goes deep enough and big enough mm. um you know, I think coherence is is much better uh, in exploring that. Um, and and this isn't the only type of movie like this we've seen, right? We we've yeah, seen because this kind of plays out almost like a um, a time travel movie too. They mm. they they have a lot of those tropes as well, where you're going in on different versions of yourself at that at that same time. And uh, you you kind of insert yourself into the equation and change things and whatever. But um, I did I did like the the actors here. Um, the main actress I know from the Watchmen TV series. Uh, her husband uh, we know from The Invisible Man, which I really liked him a lot in that. Um, and then the brother is is the uh, is the dude from the Purge movies. Mm, um, yeah. He's in the first Purge, and then he's in the later Purge movies as well um, as like one of the rebellion leaders or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, they're all familiar, recognizable faces. Um, but I, what did you think? I, I'm I'm curious. Um, I think you liked this movie more than I did. Yeah, I think I guess I did. I quite enjoyed it. I don't know. I something about the like atmosphere and the location. I really love the woods that they're set in and I think, you know, it is a very like there's a lot of clever tricks. Like it it feels a lot bigger than it is. But I like the techniques that are used and like the specifically the location. Like it's kind of hard to talk about without spoilers, but there's like an element in the location that they use and I just thought that that was really neat and I really love the way it looked and everything um and it's nothing fancy it's very simple it's very very simple but it just i thought it was really cool and i i loved everybody's performance too i think that everyone gave a really great performance and i i enjoyed the main character like her journey and arc through everything i thought was really like heartfelt and just kind of tragic and I don't know but there is there's just something about her and the way she portrayed the character that really resonated with me yeah 
So I was into all of that. And then there's, you know, as far as like the horror goes, there's definitely a few moments where I was like genuinely kind of creeped out, like (laughs) for not really, honestly, I think it's because it sort of gave me like doppelganger kind of vibes, even though that's not what this is about at all. But it just something about like seeing doubles of yourself or, you know, even if it's you in another timeline, it just kind of scares me a little bit because... I don't know. It's just kind of, it's just a freaky concept to me. And it always has been. And also like seeing doubles or like, you know, other versions of people that you know and love and stuff. Like, it's just something that's, it freaks me out. So I like that element of this, but it's not a, um, it is very much like a sci-fi. It's the horror is kind of light in this. I would definitely say it's more of like a sci-fi drama horror, like in that order or drama sci-fi horror probably. Maybe, I don't know, yeah. as far as, like, what's, yeah. like, the, the strongest element. Um, yeah. So, you know, yeah, I, I just enjoyed it. I thought it was cool. I, I think that the ending is pretty interesting, too, and I don't know. I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just think that a rewrite of the script to have more impactful moments and not for it to feel fairly repetitive. Mm, right. I get that. I like, can see that. That that's really where I found because if you take a movie with like Coherence, which is super similar, um, to be fair, Coherence has more cast. Yeah. And so there is more people to play around with. Or if uh, you know, movie like Triangle, mm. which is also kind of similar ish. Um there's just I don't know. There, there feels like more stakes and more emotional impact, even though I think this film is successful in its emotions. Like I think that the characters act it well and, and I feel the, the pain of, of them and all that. Like they sold me on all that stuff and that's done well. Yeah. It's done really well. So don't, don't get me wrong. I, I definitely think that's all fine and well, but I feel like, just the concept, the exploration of the concept, yeah. uh, and 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 keeping it within the the you know um, limited uh, budget and all that. I, I still think you could have gotten more out of this. I do agree with you that I think that the concept is not as explored as it could be, for sure. Yeah. Um, And I, what I would actually want to see more of is more like surrealism weirdness happening, because I think that that could also have like added more to the horror aspect. Um, But it also would sort of change some parts of the story, I think. But I just, with something like this, I think you could get kind of weird with it and be able to get away with it. So the thing that's always held back movies like this for me personally, and I think this is just because, you know you have to be fairly myopic with this because it's like it's too broad it's to, hard because yeah. like yeah i mean you have limitless potential and i guess that's where i feel underwhelmed yeah is like you have so what i'm trying to get at is that if you're seeing different alternate reality versions and you're and you're like walking into a thousand different realities of different decisions and different variations and different this and that's of you where in this reality you have blonde hair and in this reality you have brown hair and this reality you married this guy and this reality you married that guy like it never goes there it's always so so limited to like choices that were made in the last like few months yeah right yeah like it's never like it doesn't go far enough. It doesn't back. go far enough because, like, and it has to to a degree yeah. because they all have to be there at that cabin, right? Right, which brings a sense of fate to it, and that's I think something that I wish they would have explored more. Yeah, yeah, is like the fate of their child, right? There is an and being aspect there, and you have to be you. I I would like to have seen more of like fuck fate, sure. Like this is crazy, sure. no matter where I go, so. That's that, but I always feel like it's so limited. If if you want to see, you know, uh, the multiverse done more wild, you watch everything everywhere all at once. I was just thinking that. That's what right. I was just thinking. But that is definitely like a 
comedy drama like it's much more lighthearted and but, but it takes that, you but that is absolutely what i would like i always think about that's a fantastic movie to explore the concept of the multiverse yes because it like it, you know in one in one reality you're you know you're people with hot dog fingers <laughs> yeah and in another reality you're rocks i know you know what i mean that's like so cool. that i love that is interesting yes it really right? is just like exploring a movie where I put your phone here. Yeah. And then the other reality you go to, I put your phone here. Yeah. It's not that interesting. Right. You know what I mean? It makes it very like, um, it's almost like if you're going to do that, if you're going to do like the whole like butterfly effect of like a small action changing large things. You should have a nexus point. Yeah. Where it's like, when I enter this, this branch. Right. That branch should be the nexus point yeah, so from all, all the decisions that. that happen happen from that moment yeah. in time. So that, yeah, everything leading up to this moment yeah. is the same. But then we create branches of reality from that moment. Yeah. So then all your past is the same. Yeah. But the way this movie plays out, it's like all their pasts are the same up into like one minute, tiny little difference. And to me, that's just, it's not that interesting and it becomes repetitive. Yeah. They're just the I same people I get you. that are like this much different. Yeah. And it's I, like, eh, that's think, not exploring it enough. It's kind of just like hanging out with, I don't know. I think that's valid. So that's, I think it's a valid yeah. criticism of it. Um, I do know that this movie is not going to be for everybody. There's going to be a lot of people that think it's boring or dumb or whatever. So I don't know, like, kind of who to recommend it to, because I think we both enjoyed it enough. Like, I enjoyed it more than you did, but you had um, a good time watching it. Yeah, it's, it's well good. acted. It's you know, it's, it's a cool, like, limited location type of film. Like, if you're into those type of movies, you know, you might enjoy this. But it's not going to be for everyone. Like, it really, it won't be. It just won't be. Some people are going to, I definitely think people will find it boring. I think it makes sense for the story they're trying to tell. Yeah. But I also think that you need to come up with a different concept than just the multiverse. Mm. Because the multiverse, as I said, is is way more vast. Yeah. And and this is so limited in scope that I'm like, mm, multiverse isn't the right thing. That's why I say you like create a nexus point. You you create your own lore yeah. of like once you enter this area, when you come out you see very, very close, similar versions of yourself, but just skewed a little yeah. and a little this way and a little that yeah, way. Yeah. And also the the linear nature of time in these, I'm not understanding because the last one we enter seems to be back in time. Yeah. And I'm, it's like, what? But not. everything else is linear. I don't understand how that works. Yeah. So that made that made really no sense to me. Honestly, this, this is where I might lose some people because they'll somehow take this in the wrong way. But it's something I brought up on the channel a lot, so I do want to address it really quick so that I can say this is what I'm talking about when I've mentioned this in the past. But I've mentioned this in the past on videos where um, you have a black cast because everyone in the movie is black. And I've said in the past, like, I it bums me out that in a movie with everyone being black or the primary cast being black, they always are limited to primarily focusing on their race as the primary topic of the, of the film. Right. And I find that to always be so limiting and it actually is counterproductive mm. to ultimately eliminating racism or bias because you're constantly drawing attention to the thing that you're trying to get equality on. And the way you get equality on something is by just being mm. equal, by just not acknowledging these things. I get the I get the desire to do it and I get I understand why, but it's just this is what I'm talking about when I mention like I wish that black people would have movies where they're just people. Yeah. And yeah. their race is never addressed. And this is one of the rare cases where this is yeah. the case. Like nothing right. zero about their race is ever brought yeah. up for any reason yeah and it was so refreshing sure to just watch them be people right yeah 
and just like everyone else. And I find the movies like this are actually better for racism than constantly shining a spotlight on why we're different. Yeah. I mean, obviously. So I apologize that I, that I brought that up here, but I just, I don't get the option very often. Yeah. Because I, it just never happens. I can't think of I mean, a movie there's... we saw where the, the, the cast is primarily black. And their and race isn't a primary focus yeah. of the film. It just doesn't happen, and yeah. it's it's great. It's super refreshing to me. Anyways, I'm I'm covering my own bases because I I don't want to be called like something in the comments. I will probably I don't care, but this is what I've always been talking about. Mm. Anyway, sorry. Go on. No, I mean we can kind of leave it at that. I think obviously there are stories and films that like it is important to talk about race of course so that's like not what you're saying all of them so but i (laughs) i mean yeah i think the cast is great like i think it's a really i think they have great chemistry together and i just really love their performances so yeah 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 Yeah. so that's that that's that parallel parallel. tell us if you watch it tell us tell us us if you think think i'm a racist somehow that we're recommending bad movies oh my god (laughs) Yeah. We're so, the people who uh, recommend bad <laughs> movies. Uh, let us <laughs> so know if you stupid. watched it and what you All think right. about it. Bye. Bye.